Trinity, how are you? Stephen Chase here, back with you. Block Show Singapore. Joining us right now, we have George Zaria. Please say hello to the D-Live community. Hi, everybody. All right. George, could you tell them a little bit about you, your background, and the guys? We're going to get a little information about how the institutional world of finance is looking at the blockchain crypto sector and how they're teaching their clients and showing their clients what's happening as we're also approaching new folks that are coming into the sector. So George, could you tell them a little about you, your background, and the offering that you have today? Yeah, sure. So uh, I've started in the investment banking about 15 years ago and uh, have spent uh, uh, building up electronic trading and prime brokerage desks in the uh, in the emerging markets and uh, digital asset space is is essentially it's another emerging market uh, so about two years ago uh, we, we've launched Bquant with an idea to to tailor to the institutional clients and bring in the uh, the traditional uh, investment banking product line to accommodate the the growing interest in the in the space from the from the big guys. Okay. So we uh, we we've started by launching an exchange uh, about a year and a half. Uh, we're uh, we're now uh, uh, have exchange running exchange. We're launching Prime Brokerage in January, and we have operational custodian business as well. Okay. So the essentially the ecosystem or the product line that allows a comfortable. Uh, entrance to the of the institutional hedge right. fund buy side. Right, right. It sounds like this, that's that's the formula for the uh, uh, for the major players to, for them to get comfortable Absolutely. to enter inside there. Did you find that there were major major pushback, or did your clients absolutely wanted this, and you had to provide that safety net yeah. for them? Well, I'm, I mean, nothing is easy in the, in the world, right. right? So we're we're looking at multiple uh, the, the bottlenecks where the industry is facing now, and one of the key ones is the regulation. And uh, we we've seen in, we've seen some developments in the past year. Uh, we we've seen some uh, uh, jurisdictions introducing regulation of the cryptocurrency space. So we we registered in Malta actually. We're okay. based out of London. Uh, but we have an office in, in, in Malta and uh, uh, going through the regulation process at, at very the friendly at very the okay. exactly so uh, you know we, we've done a lot of research in terms of the direct space and again and, and uh, we when, when talking to the institutional clients it's, it's sort of a must have to to have the credibility of, of being regulated right. and us coming coming from the regulated backgrounds most of our team are ex investment bankers okay. Uh, it was an easy transition to, to sort of to accommodate all of that. Um, so it's it's you know regulation is, is definitely like that big fat tick box that we need to we need to have to for the market to move forward and bring in the institutional guys into the comfortable uh, space. You know, I'm I'm curious to know when you have a lot of major players, right? Institutions, yeah. they understand the 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 history of what's happened. Uh, do you see a lot of aha moments from the team when they say, wait a moment? with a blockchain solution or a crypto-like solution, we don't have these uh, barriers that we had in the past. Yeah. Are you seeing a lot of those aha moments as well? A lot of opportunities to, to really scale um, with blockchain or is it the same the same landscape and we're just repeating history and the same opportunities are there? The, exactly, I mean again, uh, for me it's, it's no different if we're, we're talking about the futures trading or equities trading and, and the crypto trading. It's the same product line, the same concept, the same, same, same uh, clients as, okay. as well. So the, the, there's a lot of uh, quantitative trading funds that are, have been established. They're entering into every possible liquidity pool where they can extract inefficiencies and, and trade and generate return on their investment. So the, the, uh, there's not much different in terms of the, the, the approach in general, okay. but the industry itself is absolutely fascinating in terms of the the, the level of efficiency it can bring into the exactly. actual infrastructure. Right. Right. So the blockchain again. Uh, if we if we look back, if I look back like five seven years ago, I mean the my uh, my prime brokerage and, and investment banking business was compiled of uh, hundreds of operations people. Mm. Now we have a team of developers. I was going to say run, it's completely it's exactly, all coders, developers. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely right, right. efficient, streamlined, automated. Mm -hmm. We do everything out the automation is the key. It's fantastic. And it's, yeah, it saves 
massively on the on the on the cost and the the actual barrier to entry uh, the market is, is very low. So we're seeing a lot of startup, smaller hedge funds coming in. Right. Uh, the teams that are uh, just a spin-offs of the of the larger guys and and they just start running some of these strategies. And how does that so help much. you? How does that help you in the end? Well, I mean, it's uh, we we are we're being pioneers in the space essentially. So we we're, we're trying to to build the market, and it's it's you know the supply and demand kind of a, a balance all yeah. the time. So we 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 approach the uh, the, the market from the, the demand perspective. So we want to offer the tools that then drive clients in, and they, they understand what the, what they're what they're getting themselves into. Right. They understand the risks, the benefits, and the and the returns. Okay. And the, the, the space is becoming more and more efficient. And again, from you know any any, any standpoint, regulation, infrastructure is becoming available. Absolutely. I mean, the rules of the game are being outlined. So. Right. But we have, I think, we have so much upside. At the end of the day, we just if we play and we work within the confines, I think that the whole community will actually see a lot of benefit down to the down to the small guys, and we won't see such a a, a wide spread of difference between the ninety nine and one. Yeah. Um, what are you looking for personally to see come out of in the next year out of the blockchain world and the crypto hemisphere? Well, it, again, uh, since we're so much embedded in the in the institutional segment, that's what has been highly anticipated generally to the entrance of uh, of the of the large institutional right, guys to come into the space mm -hmm. uh, bring in the uh, uh, their experience expertise their money mm -hmm. and their flows so very much anticipated but okay. again we know what what needs to be done be before this happens so we we mer uh, very much are trying to facilitate this process and drive the market to uh, sort of a balance where there's a retail participation, institutional participation. And, it's uh, the whole entire exactly. ecosystem. Exactly. Do you find that you have to kind of go outside of your comfort zone to make the, 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 the interior a little bit more comfortable? Oh, abs absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, the key thing is that it's, it's a lot of, most of the, the, uh, uh, the traditional regulated buy side managers have no idea what's happening Absolutely. in this space. So it's <laughs> educational processes there. So we have to we have to basically, you know, come in and do the whole uh, pitch about you know where the industry is, how. <laughs> uh, so we Don't you just love in. that? This is this is what happens when you're live. That is the thing that happens when you're live. So we've got your questions. What happened is we had one of our producers come in here right now. We got the question from live. I've got him. I will ask it right now. It's that important. <laughs> it's that important. So um, clearly, yeah. what makes you different from your competitors? Everybody is talking about marketplace. Wow, Everybody, yeah. <laughs> Everybody is saying that exchange, exchange, exchange. Yeah. What makes you truly? Well, it's uh, our business model. Um, now revolves around being the, the prime broker, be, being sort of a one-stop solution for the market, for the institutional people okay. to come in. So we offer uh, multi-platform uh, uh, multi access, we offer lending, collateral management, reconciliation tools, uh, cost analysis tools, we assist with the connectivity side of things. So it's, it's basically, it's, it's the whole uh, the whole service line that, that, that allows that, that kind of seamless When you say one-stop shop, Exactly. You, you're, yeah. you're, this is an entire mall. This is a city it block is. of a mall. This isn't just a shop. And and, and yeah, the, the, the point is that the prime brokerage is, is was the missing the missing piece in the right. in the ecosystem uh, for for the for the hedge fund world to be to be you know looking at at, at the digital asset space. So that's where we we concentrating our efforts at the moment. We're going live in January. We're very much uh, excited about it. We're having a, a tremendous uh, interest from our existing clients to trade on on Big Quant Exchange, and they will. Uh, they will be essentially, what we're looking to do is basically extend the offering to the entire uh, liquidity pool. So the okay. all these spot exchanges, the the uh, derivatives, and, and so on. All right. Is there anyone out there in in the uh, in the world in the universe that you'd like to reach out to you? If so, inside, you know, there's a lot of startups right now looking Absolutely. to partner. If the past two days have taught me anything, is that we need to collaborate even more. And we're already yeah. in this intense collaborative state right now. 
Um, is there anyone you'd like to, to, to work with, you're looking to, and that fits a certain, you know, yeah. check certain boxes? Well, we, I mean, we are open to, to, to talk partnerships. We're looking to, to talk to the regulators. We're looking to talk to the uh, influencers uh, or the, the clients themselves to, to, uh, to, to make the, the, the digital asset space another, another asset class and, and, and bridge the gap between the traditional finance and the, uh, and, and the crypto. So it's, it's basically we're very much uh, have in, into the dialogue with the community. Okay, and so guys, I want you to hashtag traditional finance. And if you have any other questions, let us know. Put it up on um, DLive. The second, and before you go, from your experience, all the craziness that you've learned in the in the, the world of the blockchain and crypto, in the past six to twelve months, is there any advice that you can leave our audience with? Uh, well, I, I cannot say hodl, right? But uh, I, I would I would rather say you know uh, believe, okay. believe in in, in blockchain, and uh, and we we all are big believers. We're big fans of the industry. It's so much more exciting than the traditional finance. And I have to say, I mean, I've seen so many, uh, so many investment banking guys coming over to me as like, yeah, I, I, I want to be, I want to be, and this, is, this is the big new thing. Okay. Uh, the next big thing. So, listen, I thank you enough for joining thank you us very today, much. Andrew. Fantastic Pleasure. chatting with you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. D Live Community will come right back at you.